Hey, uh, you want a pastry? There's like a ton left over. Uh, no, I think I'm good. Left over from what? Aunt Hayden bought like a dozen, and Aiden didn't want any because he said he was gonna bake his special muffins he makes with Franco. That's rough. Yeah. Aiden just doesn't really understand that the Franco that's walking around now isn't the one that he loves. That Franco may never be coming back. You know that what happened to Franco isn't your fault, right? Yeah, that's what my mom tells me like a thousand times a day. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what moms do. Get stuck in a loop and they can't help themselves. <sighs> Cameron! He lives! How come you haven't been to soccer practice? I don't really know. I just don't feel like kicking around a ball on a field. No, I can't imagine why. The team is asking about you. What am I supposed to tell them? Tell them that I barely escaped having my memory wiped by a mad scientist. Everyone saw the media coverage, so they already know that. But if you don't start coming to practice, you're going to lose your spot as a starter. Is that what you want? You love soccer. I just don't want to deal with fallout out of this latest horror show with Franco. OK, I've been there, and I've done that a lot. I mean, I, I just wish I could drop out of school, period. Hey, maybe you can. Stay home with me. We could get tutored together. You're not coming back to school? Well, not if I can help it. Yo, people, I don't know where your brains are, but I'm going to need you to find them and put them back in your skulls. What for? Because you two are coming back to school. I don't know if I can go back to school. I mean, the book reports, research papers, pop quizzes, it, it all seems so trivial now. Yeah, and besides, I hate the idea of going back to school and my family's all over the media again. You guys, we're going to be juniors this year. We're finally upperclassmen. And Cameron, we're talking varsity soccer, letter jackets, prom. So what if it's stupid? We're your way from inheriting the school all for ourselves. Yeah, you know, you're probably right. Maybe it won't be that bad. Well, maybe for you guys. But I mean, there isn't going to be anything that's going to make facing school without Oscar any better. I know it's not the same. We, we didn't love Oscar. Not that I didn't see it, because he was real cute and real smart. OK, we get it. He's pretty much the whole package. My point is, is that I, even I'm going to miss Oscar being around school and I didn't even like him. Get out. You loved him like a brother. Yeah, you know, sure. But you know, I didn't really like him. In fact, I think it should be my duty to remind the entire class how lame he was. I mean, now that we're juniors, I could try out for a lead in a play. I mean, that's something lame Oscar would love. I, I know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I know. We should go to Mr. Boone and pitch a whole bunch of plays with three leads. So lame. Oh, my gosh. He would love that. Joss, what do you say? Sure. Three leads. Sounds great.